Have you ever burned out juggling too many editing tools, writing scripts at 2 a.m., or stressing over your faceless YouTube channel content? Yeah, me too. It's a lot. One minute you're brainstorming ideas, the next you're voicing over, editing subtitles, finding stock clips. Exhausting. Now imagine one free tool that can do all of that for you. Script writing, voiceover, visuals, even a virtual presenter to be on camera instead of you. Sounds like sci-fi, right? Well, it's real and it's here. Called CapCut's AI Video Maker, the same CapCut you've seen all over TikTok, and trust me, it's a solid tool. Before we dive in, if you want to try this with me, click the link in the description to download CapCut for desktop for free on PC and Mac, totally cross-platform with no catches. Download it now so you can follow along. I'm on my Mac, but CapCut works on Windows PC too. I've installed and opened CapCut desktop, logged in, and right on the home screen, I spot the magic button, AI Video Maker. I click that and a new workspace opens up. This is the AI Video Maker Hub. CapCut conveniently lays out a few AI-powered options here. Instant AI Video, the one-click route if you already have a script ready. Just choose a style, paste your script, and boom, the AI generates the video. Brainstorm with AI, perfect if you don't have a script. This helps you generate ideas and a structured script from just a topic using an AI-powered mind map. Avatar Video, for creating a talking AI avatar presenter video. There are built-in avatars, trending, casual, professional, etc. And even an option to create a custom avatar from a photo. Great for faceless channels. Match media to script. If you have your own script and maybe some footage, this can auto-match your media clips to the script's beats. Pretty wild, right? All these features are neatly in one place, and yes, all free. CapCut basically packed in auto-captioning, text-to-speech, script generation, avatar video generation into this tool. For this demo, let's say I have an idea but no finished script. I'll use Brainstorm with AI to show you how CapCut can help craft a script from scratch. I click on Brainstorm with AI. CapCut asks me to enter an idea or topic for my video, so let's do something relatable. Top five tips to avoid creator burnout, because hey, that's a struggle we all know. I type that in as my brainstorming topic, I hit enter, and CapCut's AI goes to work. In seconds, I see a mind map appear with several branches of subtopics. It's suggesting things like time management, batch recording, using AI tools to save time. Nice. Those are great points. This brainstorm tool basically helps me outline a well-structured video. I can click the little AI icons next to each subtopic to generate more ideas on that point or hit the pin icons to select the key points I want to include. It's kind of fun, I'm literally brainstorming with AI Assistant. I'll pick a few key tips the AI suggested that I like, say, schedule downtime, leverage automation, and join a creator community. Now that I have my main points pinned, I just click generate script. And boom, CapCut generates a full script for my video right before my eyes. The script includes an intro, the tips as separate scenes, and a conclusion. Honestly, it's pretty good for zero effort. It reads like a decent YouTube narrative with a logical flow. Of course, AI isn't perfect, and you guys know I always preach adding your personal touch. Overhumanized AI text can slip into uncanny valley territory. Too slick, not quite natural. No wonder some creators hesitate. In fact, quick pro tip, make sure your opening line absolutely hooks the viewer. The AI gave me a generic intro, so I'm tweaking it to sound more exciting and grabby. You can go further and reduce the editing time with a solid prompt strategy. That's exactly why we hammer it inside the generative AI course in AI Master Membership. Our members already cut their script in time in half, minus the robot vibes. There, much better. A little human touch on top of the AI-generated script goes a long way. Overall though, we have a complete script in hand with minimal effort, love it. Now that we have our script, CapCut basically sets up the video project for us. I click the scenes button. This brings me into the scenes editor, where each scene or paragraph of my script is laid out sequentially, almost like a storyboard or timeline. Each scene from the script is its own segment. At this point, CapCut might have already done some initial automation, splitting the script into captions for each scene, ready for voiceover and visuals. Think of this as the foundation. We have text for each part of the video, and now we just need to dress it up with an avatar, voice, 
stories, footage, etc. And here we'll add all the fun stuff. First up, let's get ourselves a virtual AI presenter. Since this is a faceless video, I want an AI avatar to appear on screen and deliver these lines for me. CapCut's avatar feature makes this super easy. In the AI Video Maker interface, I click on Avatar Video. This pulls up a gallery of avatar characters to choose from. They have avatars and categories like trending, casual, professional, etc., each with a different look and vibe. I'm scrolling through, there's a friendly looking guy in a hoodie, a woman in a suit, even some characters. Let's go with a casual avatar, someone approachable, like a virtual version of me. Instantly, Avatar appears in the scene as the presenter. He's a full body talking avatar. Pretty cool, right? Now CapCut even lets you create your own avatar from a photo if you want. I could upload a photo of myself and have a digital clone, which is insane. That feature has limited free usage, so I will save it for another time. For now, our chosen avatar will do the job. Don't worry if your avatar is just standing on a blank background, we'll have visuals and captions around them soon. You can also resize and position the avatar like picture in picture or full screen. I'll keep him in the corner for now while we add other elements. Next up, let's give our avatar a voice. CapCut has has text to speech built in so we can convert our script to voiceover automatically and we have a bunch of voice styles to choose from. I click on the voiceover button in the scenes panel or switch to the voice tab. Here I see a list of AI voices, male, female, different accents and languages. There's friendly narrators, energetic promo voices, calm documentary tones, even different languages if I wanted a Spanish or Hindi voiceover. It's all right here. I will preview a couple. Welcome to creating voiceovers. Welcome to creating voiceovers. Welcome to creating voiceovers. Uh, one voice sounds a bit and young, another sounds like a formal newscaster. Hmm, let's go with this voice, for example, because he sounds pretty natural and confident for our tips video. With the voice selected, I hit apply to all scenes, and just like that, CapCut generates the voiceover for the entire script, scene by scene. Our avatar is now talking. CapCut has synced the avatar's lip movements to the voice. Let's play a quick snippet of the video now with voice and avatar to see how it's coming along. Hmm? Are you tired of spending hours researching and writing content? You're not alone. But do you unworry because today I'm going to ship? Well, not bad. The voice is clear and the avatar looks like a legit presenter. Sure, it's an AI voice, but a pretty good one. And remember, if you ever want to change the voice, it's as easy as a couple clicks to try a different style. CapCut even has an AI voice changer if you want to tweak the tone or add character filters, but that's optional for now. I'm happy with the voice. Now let's spice up the visuals. We have a talking avatar, yes, but to keep viewers engaged, we need cutaways, B-roll, maybe some graphics. CapCut's AI can handle that too, thanks to the match media to script feature, this is where it pulls in relevant images or footage to automatically accompany our narration. I go to the scenes panel and click on the media section. CapCut gives me a few options for adding visuals to each scene. Generate AI media. This can create AI generated images from text. Think of it like having GPT 4.0 image generation or mid journey integrated to make specific images if needed. Match your media. If I had my own video clips or images, I could import them and let CapCut fit them into the script's timeline. Match stock media, the easiest for us now. CapCut will automatically find stock videos and images that match the script content. I choose match stock media. The AI analyzes each scene's text and starts suggesting visuals. For example, my first tip in the script is about researching all night and burning out. CapCut might grab a stock video of a tired person at a computer late at night. For the tip about scheduling downtime, maybe it picks a clip of someone relaxing or a calendar graphic. It's shockingly good at finding relevant visuals that align with the script. Formally, I'd search stock libraries for each point I mentioned, download clips, cut them to fit. Here, the AI just does it. Of course, I can review and replace any clip if I don't like it. Let's say for the use AI tools tip, CapCut suggested a generic tech animation, but I prefer a screen recording or different graphic. I can manually swap that, but honestly, the suggestions look pretty on point. I will stick with what 
the AI chose for now. Great, now our video has an avatar presenter and illustrative footage for each section. What's one element nearly every engagement video has these days? You've seen those snappy subtitles on TikToks and shorts, right? CapCut's got us covered there too. It auto-generated captions for a video as soon as we had the script and voiceover in place. Because we provided a script, CapCut has already turned that into timed subtitles for each scene. If I play through, I see the text appearing in sync as the avatar speaks. No manual transcription needed. But we're not settling for plain white text at the bottom. Nope, CapCut offers a bunch of stylized caption templates to make the text pop. In the desktop app, these styles are found under the Captions or Text Templates section. Let's pick a style that fits our video's vibe. There are styles with bold, colorful fonts, dynamic karaoke-like highlighting, trendy meme text with animations, you name it. For this video, about creator tips, let's choose a clean but modern caption style, say, big semi-transparent text that appears word by word with a slight bounce. I click that template and apply it to all our captions. We are nearly finished. The last touch that can really elevate our video is some background music. CapCut has a built-in music library full of tracks we can use royalty-free. Categorized by mood and genre, let's add a little background music to give our video some energy. I click on the music tab. There's a list of recommended tracks and categories. Vlog, inspiration, cinematic, chill, etc. For our upbeat tips video, I'll look under something like inspirational or upbeat and find a track. Oh, here's one. It's got a nice motivating vibe. I hit the plus to add it to the timeline. The music is now under all our scenes playing along with the voiceover. I'll quickly adjust the volume of the music track so it's not too loud under the narration. That already sounds more polished. The music adds that final professional touch, making the video feel complete. If you're watching this and thinking, this AI stuff is cool, but I want to go deeper and really learn how to use tools like this effectively. Then I've got something for you. We created the Generative AI 101 course inside the AI Master membership. It's built on real world strategies, stuff we've tested and used, not just theory. It starts with the basics, like writing your first prompt, and builds all the way up to advanced tricks that make your AI outputs genuinely impressive. And it's not an overwhelming info dump either. We drop fresh lessons weekly, so you can learn at your own pace, stay updated, and never get left behind. Bite-sized modules, clean walkthroughs, zero fluff, and since you're here with us on AI Master, we're hooking you up. I want to give you a full year, 63% off. No catch, it's a crazy good deal. So if you're serious about leveling up your AI skills, hit the link below and join us inside the membership. All right, moment of truth. Let's preview our entire video from start to finish. In CapCut, I hit play and watch it through. Our avatar introduces the problem of burnout. Each tip pops up with relevant B-roll footage, stylish captions animate on cue, and upbeat music ties it all together. Honestly, this looks so good. Now that we're happy with it, it's time to export the video. I click the bright export button in the top right corner, we get the usual settings resolution, format, etc. I'll go with 1080p full HD. You can even do 4K if you want super high quality. Frame rate 30 is fine for this, format MP4. Then I hit export and let CapCut render everything into a final video file. Export is pretty quick, few minutes for our three minute video. And done, it's saved to my computer, ready to publish. CapCut even gave me an option to upload it directly to platforms like YouTube or TikTok, but I can also just manually upload the file. So here it is, our finished AI generated video. Let's watch a snippet of the final result one more time. Tip no one. Leverage automation for factual data and current information. Automation can be a game changer. As you can see, the quality is really good. We've got a well-paced narrative, engaging visuals, even an AI presenter who doesn't stumble on words. And I didn't use any pro editing software or expensive assets, just CapCut and some creativity. Now, before we wrap up, I promise to show you an extra bonus workflow. We focused on a standard horizontal video, but what about short form content like YouTube Shorts, TikTok, talks or Instagram reels. In the AI Hub, there's a section for video templates. These are pre-designed formats for popular short video styles. Think of those trendy meme fact videos, quick listicles, or aesthetic reels. CapCut provides templates where the style, effects, and transitions are already set. All you have to do is slot in your content. Let's say 
I want to create a 15 second motivational quote video for Instagram. I can pick a template that I like. For example, one with flashy text and music that's trending. I select that template and CapCut asks me for a topic or a short script. Maybe I input daily motivation, you got this, and hit create. CapCut will auto-generate a short video out of that. It might write a snappy script or use my text, choose some upbeat music, apply the template's cool animations, and even add a voiceover all in one go. Literally one click, and I get a finished vertical video with captions, effects, everything matched in the style I chose. How crazy is that? And of course, I can tweak it if needed, maybe change the background video or switch the voiceover if I prefer a different vibe. But the heavy lifting is done automatically. This is perfect for quickly generating content for social media. If you have a long video, like the one we just made, you could use these templates to repurpose it into a teaser or highlight clip for TikTok in seconds. Just rewrite the script or pick a key quote and the AI template does the rest. Basically, you can become a content machine with this. Trust me, in the time it used to take me to edit one video the old way, I can now have a full length video and several tailored shorts ready to go. If you're excited about this, I highly recommend you give CapCut's AI Video Maker a try for your next project. Remember, it's completely free and available for Windows, Mac, and even has mobile and web versions. The desktop version we used is the most powerful, so download it from the link below and play around. You might be surprised how much you can do. And for those wondering, yes, free really means free. No watermark on exports or any of that nonsense. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this and subscribe for more practical AI tool demos, tips, and tutorials. And don't forget to download CapCut using the link in the description to start making your own AI videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.